Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. In today's reading, we will pick up a general collective reading for you, okay? Um, I'm about to upload your love message, your love reading in the other channel, in the Scorpio Ascending channel. So please watch the space. I will upload it very soon. And thank you, Scorpio, for supporting me and my channel. Thank you. Let us see what's coming towards you in a general collective reading. What is the guided message for the Scorpio, please? Thank you so much for helping me take down or report the um, copy cat. She's been copying my voice for the last three to six months. And it's just not fair, Scorpio. She's using my voice and another voice of a YouTube um, reader, which is, I don't know who she is, but it's pretty much um, a copycat of another one. It, I feel so sad because the YouTube community, the tarot, re, tarot, um, the tarot community here on YouTube, I mean, we're doing a lot of good stuff, I believe. So I hope we're not a victim of this, you know, vile person i hope he, she just focus on developing her craft because you know you gotta try okay scorpio enough of that let's now focus into your beautiful reading what can i get for the scorpio sign please i want to get you an overall energy scorpio because i haven't checked in with you you have the judgment card okay it looks like for some of you um you're ready. Look at that. I am ready to take my life's journey to the next level. Okay. It looks like for some of you, you've got a baby project or maybe you want a baby, but you've got, you've got something in your, you've got something going on, Scorpio. It's very inspiring. Let's see what is this judgment card. Um, you're looking for some sort of divine inspiration. Yes. Um, you've got the star card, definitely. You've got another star card in here. Okay. Wish upon the star. And you've got the page of wands. Okay, I'll tell you something, Scorpio. So, if you're planning to create a project, to create something that you could turn into business, you know, if you're, if you're feeling like you want to be a businesswoman, a businessman, or if you want to improve your business... I'm being advised to tell you that um, you don't have to go for far, far, okay? You don't have to go far away. The answer is actually in your notes. Like if you take notes, if you, it's actually in your books, in your notes, in your previous manifestation, in your previous ideas, okay? So if if you're wanting to expand, if you're wanting to create a business or maybe you're looking for some sort of inspiration, um, you don't have to buy or explore further away your house, your home. It's within those notes. It's within your computer. You know, you save the link. Um, it's within your notebook, your notes. It's within those books that you bought and you bought that book because you want to feel inspired. It's within your house. It's within your room. It's within the four corners of your home. That is where you're going to see the inspiration. Okay. If you're, if you're feeling like entrepreneur, entrep, okay, I cannot pronounce business woman, businessman, I struggle with R. So it's within your house, okay, within your home, okay. So I hope you find that inspiration, that spark, Scorpio. I'm also hearing the word, you can rest, but you cannot quit. You know, you can rest, but you can't quit because you're amazing, Scorpio. You know that. So now let's pick up, um, let's pick up a more um, 
daily guided message, okay? Um, you've got in here the judgment card. The judgment card again. Wow. Okay, because the first card, remember, we've got here the judgment card. You're in synchronicity. So you've got the judgment card, the page of wands. We have the page of wands again here. This is the page of wands. Wow. Nine of wands. Okay. Now, relating to the previous, I mean, I have to connect this with the first reading because... Yeah, nine of wands, you're really, you're really looking into an inspiration. You're really looking into something that you would connect. It is what you call soul work, okay? This is the next three to four weeks, the next three to four, nine weeks. It is something that you can sit on an idea and somehow brainstorm and somehow get an inspiration and the inspiration is within your house within your home you don't have to go further and nine of wands for some of you um you're feeling low in terms of divine inspiration there could be something that is blocked with you scorpio i would suggest to sage your house your home okay because whenever i feel like why do i feel like my intuition or my insight, my frequency is slow or tired, or if I'm lazy, you know, if I'm feeling lazy with the normal things that I need to do, I sage, I cleanse, and physically, I take a bath, <laughs> you know, when you, it's, it feels refreshing, you just take a bath, even if you take a bath in the morning, if I feel like I'm, I'm if I feel like lazy, I take a bath again, it's just to cleanse, because you know, when you go outside your house, your home, you can really, you know, absorb a lot of negativity outside of us. You know, the frequency of people, the chatter, the pollution. So cleanse is really, really important if you want to feel inspired, okay? If you're feeling like, I've got this idea, but it's so difficult to hit the ground running, cleanse. And it's within your house, within your home, okay? Um, you might be feeling depleted or low. Don't worry. Once you cleanse, you will be able to have a fresh vibe. Find, I'm hearing the word, find your zen. Okay, find your zen. Okay. Now, let's see what else is coming towards you, Scorpio. You've got the three of pentacles. This is three and two. Mm, okay. So, someone would like to collaborate with you, Scorpio. Three of pentacles. What is the three of pentacles? Oh, Ace of Cups, okay. It feels like there's someone at work or someone in a friendship. I don't think it's friends, no. It's romantic. There's someone at work and there's someone romantic who would like to collaborate with you or who would like to maintain a relationship. Like, it feels very casual. Someone in the next three to seven days is going to connect with you, is going to collaborate with you, it feels like it's just casual, but it's actually special. It's not casual. It is special. From three of pentacles to two of pentacles, and then you've got the ace of wands. This is not casual. This is special. So, you know, randomly, you might get a call. You randomly, you might get a message from your boss, from a GM, from someone high-end kind of person or from another team. And hey, I want to catch up with you and blah, blah, blah. Or hey, I want to ask you about this. It feels like, it looks like it's a simple question. But somehow something tells you that why do they ask me this? Why do they ask your opinion or your idea? Because they're kind of looking into collaborating with you or putting you in a different position or giving some sort of delegation with you. And it would lead you to expansion or exposure. Okay? Now, if this is love... If this is love, you get the two of, two of ones. You know, if this is love, um, this person, if this is love, they will connect with you and they will tell you that, you know, I randomly think about you. It's not true. Okay. They will make you feel it's casual, but there's depth. There's a, like, there's a background. There's an ease of ones. This is special. Come on. But of course, they want to make you make they want to make you feel like it's just casual, but it's not. I'm telling you, it's not casual. It is special. Um, it could be two person actually that would be, that would be approaching you. Where is Mercury? I'm I'm stammering. Um, yeah, seven of wands. 
um, don't think that this is casual. I want you to listen to your intuition because this is an opportunity for love or for work relationship, okay? It could be for exposure, it could be for expansion, or for some of you, hey, you know what, randomly they they text or call, they, it feels like random, casual, look, they really want to connect. It's not real that they're telling you that it's casual. They've been thinking about this. They just want to be cool. I think they're nervous if this is romantic because you've got the nine of cups in here. So they will ask you for a drink. Like, do you want to meet? Do you want to catch up? Do you want to talk? Something like that. I think they're nervous, okay? Whoever this person is, whether it's romantic or professional, if it's professional, I don't think they're nervous. I think it's more of they want to check if you're going to be interested with the idea of possibly doing their job, replacing them as replacing them as a GM, the manager, or a new position. Okay, Nine of Cups. Yeah, if this is romantic, they have a lot of plan. This is their this is their wish. Like if this person connects with you, you would see their message, their text, their call. It's quality. It's very engaged, and it's also like it keeps rolling into the next subject, and they keep. Like you would see it that they keep like they they keep bringing the conversation into the next level. So what are you doing this weekend? Uh-huh, you know, something like that. So it's not casual, it's special because I kind of pick up with your energy, Scorpio, that you might feel, okay, now what you want. There's a part of you that you're somehow limited. Let's see. Yeah, king of wands. Look, this person is very passionate. It's not casual. It's not random it is special la la sorry i keep hanging out with my malaysian friend my la i'm moving forward quickly with great focus you see it is not casual it is unusually special because it's a king of wands it's an eight of wands and one more thing you would notice this person for example for example this person like okay do you want to meet up and you say, oh, I'm busy. When is your next availability? They won't stop asking you until until they book a meeting, until they book a meeting with you or a catch up. That is how important you are because you're somehow pushing them back because you don't trust them or you feel like they're going to give you work. It will, if this is professional, it's about work, but it will give you exposure. It will expand you. Okay. So there's a part of you that you're somehow not really interested but eventually they will manage to convince you you've got the star card in here they will convince you because this is you know nine of swords nine of wands nine of swords i mean i will not judge you it, it's possible that you've been very busy lately that's why you've got a lot of nine of wands nine of swords this is like i'm this like this is this is being tired you know maybe for some of you it's been a while since the last you know, since the last time you felt very connected to your job, to yourself, to love. So that's why you have nine of nine of wands and nine of swords, okay? Sometimes, you know, Scorpio, sometimes in life, we will feel very low. It is our responsibility to cheer ourselves up. How do I say that? Because I'm I'm doing a lot of things to cheer myself up. I cannot be so sad, regardless of what happening, what is happening in my personal life. I cannot be so sad because if I'm sad, then my number one thing that I love to do in this lifetime is reading. If I'm sad, I'm not I'm not optimistic. Then I'm going to lose this talent, this thing that I love. This is my first love right now. So I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of activities to cheer me up to ground my energy and to get back to reality and to be inspired. So if you feel like Scorpion, nine of wands, nine of swords, if you feel like sunshine, why is it so difficult to get inspired? Why is it so, it's a struggle. Don't linger around past energy. Don't hang around with people who's low frequency. You know, go and find experience, build experiences, build memories, do a lot of activities that will enhance your mood, you know, that will enhance your mood. I'm supposed to say eat donut or eat chocolate <laughs> or ice cream. 
somehow the sugar makes you happy but it's you know it's no longer her healthy one of my i'm gonna overshare again i realize that um because i'm really practicing a lot of you know i'm really in tune with spirituality and you're really honoring my higher self you know honoring the highest growth that is my you know motto is that i will act in my highest growth okay um when it comes to food i am now my soul is rejecting food that is not good with my body that is i've asked my coach is this actually you know somehow is this happening to you and she said yes you are in the right journey in terms of your practice in terms of your spiritual learning spiritual development it's because you're very synchronized so your spirit is now can is is repelling unhealthy food so i am now cutting off into that so if i say that that it's just a joke but you know there's no pun intended if you like sugars why not but you know there's a lot of activities to to cheer you up i want to cheer you up nine of wands nine of swords okay so maybe you're feeling sad reward yourself the best thing if you're feeling sad look back to your achievement look back to what how far you become for as long as there's breath in there there is hope okay you can rest but you can never quit this life no okay so this is your reading i hope i have inspired you i hope i have cheer you up and thank you so much for cheering me up thank you so much for adding colors in my life thank you so much for giving me things that i need to do oh my gosh you just don't know how you put a structure in my life guys so thank you from the bottom of my heart i read you faithfully and i'll see you soon again guys the love reading the love message it's gonna be in the other channel in the scorpio ascending channel i'll see you soon guys you have a great day bye bye